and didn't really hear the part about how you change yourself. What? I watched your part 25 live on Facebook and didn't really hear the part about how you change yourself. Yes, you just do self-concept affirmations, darling. So I want you to change you to change them. Maybe I was saying that too much and not telling me how. So the how is concentrating on you rather than them. When you focus on them, they focus on them. When you focus on you, they focus on you. Okay, so if you're talking about self-concept to get a person back, the focus needs to be entirely on you. The focus needs to be entirely on you for anything you're trying to manifest, guys, to be honest with you. Okay, it needs to go from focusing on the item or the thing that you're trying to get and focus on you stepping into the state of being that person already. Loved, if it's a relationship. The owner of a new home, if you're wanting a new house. Wealthy, if you want money. Stepping into that state, changing your state and then it will out picture for you. Okay, so I want you to concentrate on self-concept affirmations. Things like, I am chosen, I am loved, I am loved, I'm adored, I've always been wanted, I've always been the priority. Men have always loved and adored me. I've always got everything I want. I'm the master of my reality. Anything about you that makes you feel better about you, the things you think about you, your self-image. That's what I was talking about in number 25, about changing you to change the situation. Does that make sense, darling? Self-concept. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. Well, I, I don't know what I've done, but I've pressed some bloody filter here, and it's, God, it's a funny colour. Can I manifest an SP who does not know, really know me or knows that I exist? Of course you can, darling. My, every SP that you meet doesn't know you before you meet them, unless they're a friend. Don't worry about the fact they don't know you. Just imagine you're already in a lovely relationship with them. Imagine them in bed next to you every night, darling. If you know their name, say such and such and I are in a beautiful couple, or he loves being my boyfriend. Okay, darling. Oh, hang on. I'm moving shit. I missed a few questions. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, darling. How do I get rid of doubt? Because no signs from SP. We are friends and see each other every day. Okay, so you've got to live in the end, okay, rather than looking at the 3D. Oh, God, we're still friends. Imagine he, he wants you in your mind. He's with you in your mind, darling. Don't worry about what's happening out here. Just look at him every day you see him as a friend and think, you have no idea what I'm thinking every night in bed when I'm lying in bed imagining you're with me. You're going to be with me soon. This is happening because I said so. Okay, so see him as a friend. In your reality, that's going to change into the thing in your head, darling. Don't allow the 3D to throw you that you're just friends right now. You know where it's going because in your mind you're already there. Does that make sense, darling? Loz, Loz, does it matter if he says we can be together when things change? What needs to change, darling? There's something in your head that's telling you that he's going to delay things, that things need to change. That's the thought you've had. When did you think that? Why are you thinking that? What's going on in you that makes you think that you would have to wait? Okay? That's just a thought you had. So literally, guys, all they do when they say stuff is they're reflecting your thinking. So don't beat yourself up and think, oh, I have to wait for things to change. No, well, you thought that at some point you had doubt about the relationship. You had doubt where this was going. You had doubt that he liked you as much as you like him. And therefore, he said something that reflected that. So just don't buy into it. Forget he said it. And just live in the end of your mind that you're already together, darling. Okay? Um, any more questions, guys? Is it better to affirm he is going to text me or there he already has? Just say he's constantly calling and texting me. He's constantly calling and texting me. He's blowing up my phone. He's constantly already doing it, darling. Constantly already doing it. So if I want it now, can it be now? No. <laughs> guys, I can't answer questions about time or how. That is beyond my control and your control. You can't worry about the how or the time it's going to take. If you're worrying about that, it makes me think you don't understand how your mind's working. If you think it can happen now, darling, convince yourself that you can, go ahead. But if, unless you're some kind of meditation, zen, manifestation master, I don't know anyone who could make things happen now. It's not magic. You've got to change your thinking about the situation, about you, and then you manifest it. I don't know what you're wanting right now, but just because you want it doesn't mean you're going to get it. You become what you are, not what you want. Are you the man or woman already that you want to be? Do you believe you already have it? If you don't, it won't be now. Make sense? I can't answer questions about time, guys. It's just, I can't answer it. How can I possibly know? I'm not in your subconscious. I don't know if you've convinced yourself yet, have you? The time it takes is the time it takes you to convince yourself that you are the man or woman you want to be. What about if it's my ex-husband I want back, abs have to see each other at exchanges? 
And that doesn't matter, darling. It doesn't matter what the circumstances are. It doesn't matter if your ex is, if you broke up, if they can't stand each other, if you're at the school drop-off and exchanges, if you're at each other's throats. Change that. Start seeing him as the new version you want. See him as the man he was when you first married him and he was wonderful to you and treated you like a queen. Go back to that guy. See him as that guy. Stop seeing him as the guy you're angry with or upset with or hurt by. Okay? Start seeing him differently because he can't show up as the new version, the old version that he used to be that you want if you're still seeing him as the new version that you turned him into with your insecurities. Okay? We turn people into a version we don't want, then we divorce them or break up with them and then we're like, oh, fuck, I did that. Whoops. So I want you to see him differently and every time you see him in the 3D and he's not showing up that way, don't worry. No, I'm changing you. And in your, in your head, in your mind, you're back together. You never broke up. Um, what are your thoughts on soulmates? No such thing, darling. You decide that they're your soulmate with your thinking. If you just believe in soulmates, it will be true for you. I don't believe in it. I just believe your thoughts manifest. Your dominant thoughts create. So if I have a dominant thought that that guy's my soulmate, then he's my soulmate. If I change my mind and make that guy my soulmate, he's my soulmate. Because of my dominant thinking, creating my reality done. Um... I had such a bad period pain. Any ideas how to get rid of it? Just don't imagine you have it anymore, darling. Just say things like, I blissfully sleep through the night. I have no pain. My periods are so easy. I have the e easiest periods of anyone I know. My periods have always been easy. Okay? Something like that. Believe with your heart, not your head. What does that mean? I don't do believing here, guys. Manifestation isn't about believing. It's about thinking it and thinking it and thinking it you have no control over the belief part your subconscious does that so telling someone to believe it and they'll receive it is great but you have no control over the believing only your subconscious controls that you can think it and think it and think it and think it and then at some point your subconscious starts to believe it but you can try and believe it if you like you can do that i don't think it's that easy but i see what you're saying any more questions guys what do you mean see someone in 3D? So the real reality where everything's created is the 5D, the fifth dimension in your mind. The 3D is what you can see. I can see my hands. I can see my iPad that I'm looking in. It's my th three, th third dimensional reality. What I created with my mind is now here. It's a reflection of my thinking and it's here and I can see it. But when I see it, it might not be showing me what I want. I might have broken up with my boyfriend. Well, that's not what I want in my 3D. But in my head, we're together and we never broke up. I want you to live up here and not react to what's out here, which you are changing because you change your third dimension with your fifth dimension. You create your 3D with up here. That's how you created what's in front of you right now with your thinking. So you could change your thinking to create a different 3D reality. Make sense? If you don't understand this, guys, and you haven't ever listened to me before and have never listened to Neville Goddard or anyone who talks about thoughts create your reality, go and watch my How to Manifest Properly series. On my TikTok, it's got a black heading, How to Manifest Properly. It's about 12 videos and it should make sense to you by the end. 40 new messages. Oh, shit, hang on. I'm banging on. Can you manifest something for a game? What do you mean, darling? Should you bombard yourself with affirmations when you're overthinking, like say it repetitively? Well, darling, you're bombarding yourself all day with your own thoughts. I wouldn't say bombard yourself, okay? And no one overthinks. You're just more noticing the thoughts more than anyone else. You probably have the same amount of thoughts as everyone else. You're just noticing your thoughts. Don't claim it as overthinking. Don't call it overthinking. Just stick in your affirmations anytime you feel like you're overthinking and have a schedule of your affirmations to get rid of that overthinking. You're not really overthinking. You're thinking you're overthinking. Stop saying that. But darling, yes, have a schedule of affirmations. Don't bombard it, but the repetition is what makes it sink in because you're repetitively thinking all the other shit all day. So you have to sink in the new affirmations, yes, repetitively. Are there any circumstances that can prevent you manifesting your SP? Yes, you, assuming there are circumstances that can prevent it. <laughs> Guys, you are the operant power. What you say goes. If you say there are going to be circumstances, there could be circumstances, there will be. I don't believe there will be, so there won't be. They have no free will, guys, in your reality. They can only reflect your thinking. So if your thinking is, oh, there's probably some blockages, some obstacles, some things that could stop me from getting this, there will be. Make sense? The circumstances don't matter, guys. You can choose to believe that or not, but you create the circumstances with your thinking. So if you think there will be circumstances that will stop you, there will be circumstances that will stop you. It's simply your thinking manifesting, guys. Um, 
Hang on, I'm only seeing people joining and no questions. Hang on, guys, I'm just going to scroll up. If I do exercise, will it speed up my weight loss manifestations? I don't know if that sounds silly. Well, guys, do whatever you think you need to do in your reality to get what you want, but you have to think it at the same time. You could be doing, you could be doing um, weightlifting, say. Have you ever lifted weights and, and a trainer says to you, think into the muscle? Have you ever had a trainer say that to you? You've actually got to think, which muscle am I working? Oh, this one. And you put, almost put your brain in your arm. <laughs> it sounds weird. But when you do it, you actually work the muscle more. When you don't, you're just lifting a weight. Make sense? You're actually using your brain to actually create the muscle. You're thinking into, I'm using this muscle now. You're making your mind concentrate solely on that muscle and you think into the muscle the typical training technique so what you're doing is when you're doing this weight loss stuff like drinking a shake or eating right or exercising i want you to think while you're doing it this is working for me this is making me lose weight if you just did the shake or did the exercise it won't have as much impact you're not thinking into the muscle of whatever you're trying to do you're not thinking it while you're doing it i want you to think it while you're doing it so yes darling do that if you want but you've got to think that it's helping you while you're doing it Um, God, any questions? Like, all I'm seeing is joining and no questions. Can you explain further how SP thinks, feels while we affirm is at the moment only? I don't actually know exactly what they're going through. All I know is that when they come back, they think it's their idea. They have no idea that it wasn't their idea. Not a clue. They're literally feeling when you're sending it out those thoughts they're thinking those thoughts they're feeling what you're sending out and they're hearing the thinking maybe not at the exact time that you're doing it but eventually it kind of catches up the 3d is delayed guys what you're seeing in front of you is delayed so they kind of catch up with the thoughts you're sending out you're sending them out you're sending them out you're sending them out and then suddenly they get the idea i might ring jess i miss her i feel like talking to her i miss her voice he doesn't know why he's thought that but you've been saying he misses my voice. He's dying to talk to me. He's constantly calling and texting me. He can't be without me. It's kind of delayed. Eventually he'll think it because you thought he'll think it. Does that make sense? But when it actually happens and they get back together with you, they have no idea. No idea why they're doing it. They think it's their idea. It is their idea in their head. Um, God, all I'm seeing is people joining and I can't see any freaking questions. Why are there no questions? Hang on. To saying stuff like, everybody likes me, everyone is drawn to me, count as self-concept. Yes, that's lovely. Everybody loves me, everyone is drawn to me. When I walk in a room, people take notice. When I talk, people listen. Everyone wants to be around me. Everyone wants to be my friend. Lots. Of, you can say lots of ones like that, darling. That's great. Um, does thinking only my positive thoughts manifest work? Well, darling, if you say it, and you believe it? Yes, it will. Like, just say it and say it. For you, it will work because you're saying it. You're telling your subconscious, listen, my negative thoughts don't do anything. Only my positive thoughts create. Only my positive thoughts manifest. Oh, sorry, guys. It'll go, oh, okay. Eventually, it'll start to believe it. Okay, just keep saying it. See what happens. Get back to me. <laughs> it's a very good thing to say. Got so many people joining, but I can't see any freaking questions. Where are the questions? I have magnetic, contagious energy. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, I have a thing about people love my energy, people love being around me. That's a good one. How should I act when dating? Focus on the moment or affirm a specific person? Do you mean you're dating other people but you're affirming for a different specific person, Dali? What do you mean? Just phrase that for me again. How to manifest quitting a job? Well, just imagine you don't work there anymore, darling. Imagine you work at the other place where you want to be. Do you know where it is? Or just imagine, I love my new job. God, I'm so glad I'm out of that other job. I love my new job. You don't even need to know what the new job is, darling. Just assume you're not at that job anymore and you're at the new one. What is your personal favourite self-concept affirmation, the one you use the most? Um, I'm perfect the way I am and everyone loves me just the way I am. My body is beautiful just the way it is. That's one of my ones because I have body issues. But I'm perfect just the way I am. And everyone loves me just the way I am. That would probably be mine. Because I have so many body issues. Um, mm, oh, 
God, all I can see is people joining. Where are the freaking questions? What affirmations can I use to manifest a partner? Well, darling, if you don't know who they are, just say, I love being so coupled up. I love my new boyfriend. Sorry, guys, I've been up since 5 a.m. Um, I love my new boyfriend. He loves me so much. I love being in a couple. It feels so good to be so coupled up and so in love. You don't even need to know who the person is, darling. Lie in bed at night as if they're there. Go to bed every night, smelling them, feeling their back. Like you can just imagine that they're there and feel the heat coming from them, from their nice warm body. Okay, and, and drift off to sleep as if they're there. Okay? Wear a little engagement ring on your finger or you can't see it. It's just imaginary. Walk around as if you're in a couple already, darling. I love being in a couple. I love my boyfriend. Say things like that. They, they affirmations. Um, any more questions, guys? Ooh. Congrats. Congrats on what? I'm missing it. What happened? Can you manifest for your teenage kids? How to manifest motivation and energy? My kids are so motivated. They're like little energizer bunnies. They're constantly recharging themselves. They've got so much energy and drive. They do everything in the day. They fit in so much in their day. They do everything I ask them to do. There's some good ones. Some affirmations for SP back. Yes, darling. Do the ones I just did in my video. Okay, he loves me so much. He can't be without me. Okay. Do some of my Valentine's Day ones. Okay, he loves being my boyfriend. John and I are happily married. If you want to imagine marriage, go to the end, guys. What you would want from them. Marriage, living together, boyfriend. Whatever it is. Or girlfriend. Um... Like, can you manifest to get your account back for a game? Yes, darling, of course. Just say, imagine yourself playing the game on that account. Imagine seeing the account on the screen. Okay, or say something like, I'm so glad I got my account back. I'm so relieved I got my account back. Thank God I got my account back. Um, hang on, guys. I got a first date, as you said, not sure if I should enjoy the date and affirm SP at the same time. Yes, guys, go on dates and affirm SP at the same time. It doesn't fuck it up. It doesn't. Just go on the date, enjoy yourself, enjoy the attention. Okay, but in your head and your mind, you're, st you're with your SP. Do you have to make the affirmations in present tense? I am is the best thing you can say. He is, as if it's already happening. But I am is the strongest thing you can say, guys. It's your consciousness. I am wealthy. I am married. Okay, not I'm going to be or I was. Not so good, especially I was. Um, oh, I can't see any questions, guys. I'm not going to stay on here very long, guys, because I've done so many client calls today. I am a bugger. <laughs> Do people in your life slash SP know you manifest? Do you recommend Neville to them? Only the ones that I feel would listen. Uh, some... I don't bother because I know they won't listen to me. Others I've tried, like my brother, and he won't listen, so I do it for him. <laughs> my best friend's really into it now. I got her into it, and she's, like, living her life this way. She loves it. Her life's vastly improved. Um, yeah, I just I don't tell everyone. Most people are asleep, guys. Leave them asleep. I only select a few people to tell this to that you feel would actually understand it. <laughs> I think you're a witch. All right, guys, a few more questions, and then I'm going to log off because I am literally starting to fall asleep. Uh, how do you prevent doubt creeping in? Well, just tell it to fuck off, darling. Say, I'm, I'm the master of my fate. I run this shit. I'm the writer. I'm the director. Who are you? Fuck off. Okay? Look at your life already, darling. Look what you created. No, oh, my God, I did this. That's right. I can change it. Every time you're questioning yourself, guys, look at what you already created. Go and test yourself and see. Try and get a free coffee tomorrow. Affirm someone will buy you lunch. Affirm someone's wearing a certain item of clothing or a certain pair of shoes that you like or, or they've never worn before. So say I want someone never wears flip-flops or thongs. Tomorrow they'll wear them. Okay, someone in your reality will say a certain word that they never normally say to you. Okay? Test yourself and then you won't doubt yourself so much. I always answer this almost every live. It's the same answer. Test yourself, darling. Test yourself and see and know your power. Do my power affirmations on my um, on my page. Power affirmations for your power. What may be reasons as to why manifesting didn't work after visualizing, scripting and believing? Because you didn't get rid of the old story, darling, about whatever it is you're trying to manifest. What's the old story, the thing you're holding on to? You haven't forgiven yourself, forgiven them. You're still holding resentment. You're still hurt. 
You're still not seeing them as a new version. You're still holding on to the old version. That's the reason. Most of the time. And you have, you're not affirming it enough and thinking enough. And looking at the 3D too much. When did you discover manifesting? How long did it take to master it? Thanks. Oh, well, I think only recently I realised what the fuck I was doing wrong. Okay. And for years I'd tried different things and some were successful and some weren't. And I was confusing myself as to why sometimes it's successful, sometimes it isn't. I couldn't work it out. And then I realised that I had not, never got rid of the old story of what I was trying to manifest. I'd be affirming or whatever or visualising, but then I'd look at the 3D and be like, oh, but that's not here yet, or I'd hold on to an old story about it. And when I realised that it was important to get rid of the story that I was carrying about the situation, that's when everything changed, I think, for me, and understanding what affirming was and how affirming worked, because I only ever used to do visualising years ago. And affirming really worked for me and got rid of a lot of my negative thinking. So that's pretty much it, darling. Um, any more questions, guys? Welcome, Positive Vibes. When did you discover manifesting? I saw that one. Uh, what may be the reasons as to why manifesting? I saw that one. Can I affirm that my SP moves to a city for me? Yes, darling. Just imagine yourselves both there together now. That place you're in now is where they are with you. Imagine them in bed with you. Imagine them walking around the city with you. Say, he loves living in my city. How do you prevent doubt or fear of you, your SP not showing up for creeping in? Darling, you've got to start convincing yourself that you run this shit. But they don't have any free will. They have no free will. Bill has no free will. John has no free will. Just keep saying that all day. That they can't do anything but reflect your thinking about you, them and situations. If the situation is you're together, he has no choice but to outpicture that eventually. You don't know when, but you've got to realise, guys, they can't not reflect your thinking. If you have doubtful thoughts, if you think that they can make their own choices, that's what will happen. You've got to start convincing yourself that you run this, that you create everything with your thinking. How to manifest your dream house, even if it seems so out of reach. Darling, just keep saying, I love my dream house. I love living in my own house. The one I built, the one I've always wanted. It's my dream home. Go and watch my How to Manifest a Dream House video, darling. All right, guys, I've really got to go to bed. I am. I can't even answer these questions. I'm so tired. I go live longer than this normally, twice a day. Please follow me if you're not already following me. If you want to watch any of these lives back, some of them go for hours. They're not this short. Go to the Facebook page, Manifest Live with Loz. It's a private one. No one can see you're in it. You just answer a few questions so I know you're not a spammer. Thanks, Charlie14. And you can watch all the lives back. There's over 30-something lives in there. I'm adding a lot more tomorrow. You can ask each other questions, help each other out. Some people are becoming manifesting buddies and all kinds of things there. Thanks, Positive Vibes. Lovely Positive Vibes are in the group. Lots of success stories as well. Hi, Kathleen. Thank you. And, guys, please do join me for one-to-one -one video coaching. Thanks, Positive Vibes. If you would like paid coaching with me, one-to-one, -one, you send me all the backstory of what the fuck's going on, why you're not getting your shit. I sort it out for you before the call. We sit there for half an hour and we sort it out. Manifest live with Loz. DM me on TikTok or in Facebook and I will see you soon, guys. Follow me. Bye. Thanks for joining me.